Hey guys, welcome back to Ajira, Slice of Life. Um, how to life, I don't know. Um, and this is uh, Rusha here with another video podcast, so. Um, I don't have the sequence of stuff back up, so it's just like, we're, we're just talking face-to-face -face in person like this. I don't have uh, the whole intro the introduction, so we're just going to keep things very informal, very casual here. Uh, I've got a bunch of shit to do. Long story short, and what I'm going to do right now is showcase some of the things that I need to get done. I'm going to switch the display right now over to Windows so that you can see a little bit of the important stuff that needs to get done. And there will be a little bit of latency, a little bit of lag, and that's because my laptop's actually chock full of the tabs. So, okay. So, I'm going to just going to prelude with this by saying that there's a lot of stuff, a lot of tabs that you got to get rid of um, that we want to discuss. So, um, I'll probably cover this in the future. Like, I think the schedule right now for me, I'm going to try to bring one upload every other day. So, in other words, three or four uploads per week. Because um, as much as I like recording all the work that needs to get done, um, right now the most important thing is just to actually do the work and not actually record. Because recording time and uploading and editing and conversion of the material takes a lot of time itself, right? That's just like, you can consider that to be extra work. Um, that's why people hire editors and stuff to do this stuff for it. It's like, that's why, you know, people consider this to be sometimes a full-time job themselves. Uh, it's a very time-consuming process, especially if I'm going to spend like 45 minutes to an hour uh, for a session of talk, recording, and, you know, exposition uh, just for 10 minutes. Okay, so let's go back to the backdrop. What I want to showcase first is, so we're going to cover some domains here that are really important, like housing, forms, paperwork, administrative stuff. We're going to cover logistical equipment, such as like a tape measure, new furniture, not new furniture, but equipment that we got to bring back to take care of the old furniture. Like there's a bed mattress, there's a bed frame. And so I end up going to coordinate with my caseworker and stuff like that and to do that we are going to need a tape measure some garbage bags and stuff like that so we need some equipment there's also um, something really dear to me very important to me um, regarding a, a very conceptual thing that got to do with uh, um, I wouldn't say identity but relationships fulfillment philosophy uh, relationships fulfillment um, um, horror, horror, crises, um, uh, what's the opposite of fulfillment, you know, I don't want to say hedonism, that's not it, but being empty, like, uh, being, having a void, an abyss in your chest, so the opposite of fulfillment, I guess, in life is what, having no purpose, I don't know, there's no word for that, it's just, desolate being desolate and completely having like that's very that's another so we had a believe it or not that manifested we actually went ahead and did something really important to us for for a long time i guess partner you could say um a lifelong partner and um bidding it for us together uh, I don't know if farewell is the right word. It's like watching a loved one die. In a sense. So there's a lot of things going on. That's exchange. And it's like a ring, basically. It's a ring. That, uh... So there's a lot of stuff, right? Paperwork for housing, equipment, furniture, uh, relationships, moment. And then we have all the digital stuff here that we have to cover. And then there's management. Because obviously, um, what I just showed you right now, on the right hand side here, there's two windows open, but there's obviously, I said there's about two, there's like 15 browsers open with a collective of about a thousand tabs. And on the very top, I guess we'll just cover right here right now quickly, 
Um, I don't have to shuffle back and forth to the other thing. We'll do that afterwards. So at the very top side here, I'm trying to get my orientation right. I'm realizing that the screen is flipped. So over here is an Excel, my Microsoft Excel spreadsheet that typically covers all the numerous tasks and, you know, commitments and, and projects and, you know, things that I'm working on and that I have to work on. Uh, it's a very useful recording log. Sometimes, you know, um, I, ha I make a purchase and immediately the first thing I do when even when outside is I just make a log and say, oh, okay, this costs, you know, like 15 bucks or like two bucks or whatever. And what was it for? Was it, all, you know, for a certain transaction? Sometimes I will include, you know, conversations here that are important. So conversations, whether by call or by text messages uh, regarding appointments, you know, meetings. So I need to write down a time, a date, a schedule, where I'm going, who I'm going to see. This is a good place to, you know, coordinate. It's like using Microsoft OneDrive, a project management software to just basically remind myself of who I need to see on which day at what time and then coordinate my schedule appropriately because I, I don't like letting people down, right? I want to be there on time and, you know, it's good for me as well because I want to be someone who's prudent and punctual. So. This is just basically like a, a makeshift, really bare bones version of, of Azana as a project management software uh, or Todoist, for example. So I don't really use those things. I just use Excel. And it's, uh, you might say it's like very basic, but it does the job. And so I'll read a few things here. Um, and I might switch even to the display tab right now. Uh, some of the tasks here that need to get done. Um, Go over to the display scene and on the right hand side so you can see there's a lot of programs open like all this stuff usually it's not supposed to be this messy but it's because all this stuff here i want to make you know produce some sort of episode podcast video you know blog whatever on the content so i had to save it all and this has all been building up for about at least like at least a year because ever since I, you know, the crisis really peaked and then I didn't have a place to go, I just had to save it all here without closing it. Because if I close it, you know, there's a good chance I won't remember what I was talking about or what I was working on. So, for example, here, um, I'm going to read down the list. Zero. So there's a ring exchange. I've got to go and get the forms. The UPS package came in. I had to switch it because it was a different size. It doesn't fit. Tech equipment, number one, tech equipment. I'm just going down a list by numbers, but the numbers don't actually mean anything really. Um, so tech equipment, I have to grab this from the old residence and bring it here. I can do that myself. Uh, two, first aid gifts. So these have to do with like St. John's Ambulance. And I am very appreciative, very grateful for my colleagues. So what I want to do is basically gift some of these things over to my colleagues and my fellow employees and people who have actually supported me my recovery process three is like a shelter letter that's also like a gift item but i have to type it up because i haven't finished doing that yet it's kind of like a, a farewell a parting gift for the doormates that i've had at a shelter and a lot of great people there everyone's got their own problems of course but um, it's something there that's also worth uh creating four is like the bed the bed gym swap so what i have to do is basically um switch a a fitness power tower with a bed mattress and that is tied into number six which is the logistical stuff of moving i have to coordinate with my caseworker with a third party or third party organization to bring some of the large furniture very few pieces but they are very large furniture pieces over down to this new residence and also you know switch some things between the storage um, we're going to breeze past the next few ones, so we're just going to say housing income update. So this is something that's been ongoing for the past four or five months. I still haven't completely updated with my coordinator, my housing coordinator, about how much I'm making, how much income I'm making, how that's been changing. You know, when I first got the job, they had me on the job for like 30 hours. Now it's only 10 hours. I haven't been updating. And then there's also like social benefit income as well. So I have to, you know, update all that stuff. Seven, 
government benefit benefit results that has to do with um oh uh, yeah that one needs to be resolved because uh it might be pulled they might pull the plug on this and i still haven't spoken to my other caseworker then which is with the government and then there's eight uh i have to hit up my cousin so this has got to do with familial and blood relations um since christmas i still haven't seen him i said i would haven't and uh it's like you know a month and a half passed so really have to hit him up and then treat my biological father to a shawarma because that's also it's testy there i don't know i say biological father but of course there's more things coming down here below like you know you see something having to do with religion like a pastor confession about why i can't actually commit to the church anymore that i was going to go to a very nice christian church um, by a korean community but unfortunately i just can't afford the time to go there anymore and there was a lot of people there who were participating in behaviors that were not helpful to conducive to my own personal goals i'm trying to stay away from people who are manipulative gossipy like to slander you know, all that kind of stuff and so you know all i can say is that if i have to i'll have to walk away from that church and just practice you know being prudent with god on my own time individually if that's what has to happen that's what i have to do then i am not going to try and control and correct other people i don't get to judge i'm not going to play judge and jury um physical exercise routine um psychology more important. so these are all like the physical uh you know fitness calisthenics stuff that i used to do in the morning uh eating healthier you know all that kind of stuff getting proper sleep um and then also psychological morning trips so preparing my voice you know getting a little bit of practice speaking up um building confidence reading something you know neighborly activities and then there's more stuff down here i'm not going to go through all of it but then these ones are really important as well so trying to be punctual my work schedule i haven't been as punctual as i like to be not on time all the time multiple job research linkedin profile update you know sleep cycle i have to correct that diet food health i just talked touched about that i haven't been eating the most healthy because i just didn't have a place to settle down couldn't even go to wash them properly stuff like that um learning like this one's really important obviously because um i if i want to get a new job obviously or or upgrade i had to upgrade myself so new certificates on my staffing agency express on an online platform called go skills where i manage their stuff um also from my current employer they have their own database resources um and then for this project setup so i'm i guess i've sort of set up a very bare bones setup right now to the point that i can actually run the project and then I have to update all the software podcasts. So like that stuff that has to have the OBS studio and stuff like that. And the, the video pro converter, for example, as well. But that only happens after I close all the tabs and stuff like that, having created the content, or at least gotten down the, the gist of the material onto Excel. And then I can finally uh, cover it later on. So, all right, so that's all the minister stuff. We're 13 minutes in. Let's switch over to the backdrop again. So here's the mail stuff that I gotta get rid of. Uh, there's a lot of forms here. Uh, this is an annual review for the unit that I'm in right now. And I'm very grateful for my case river who helped me to get into this unit in the first place. Um, and uh, it's, a real, it's a real chore, however, to maintain it. So there's a lot of paperwork. There's an annual review. You know, I have to update with them all my assets, my income. Uh, whether it's from employment or from my bank account or any, you know, residences that own any property. Um, so that's a big slap on my ass, all this paperwork here. And then you gotta compile all the proofs and documentation and all that kind of stuff. So it's not the most exciting stuff I have to deal with, but I know I have to deal with it. And I have some extra mail here that came in the mailbox the other day that might have to I sifted through and thought that was very useful. Okay. And tonight, what I have to do, I have to go back to an old household that was incredibly uh, chaotic and filled with nonsense, bullshit, drama. And I'll go back up there again. So there's a... I have some garbage bags here. Right? I have a tape measure. 
I'm going to record um, I'm going to take down the dimensions of the furniture, take photographs, upload it onto email, send it over to my caseworker for the community organization. I have multiple caseworkers, right? Um, and he's going to get in touch with third party organization and they're going to try to move everything. So I have to take down the measurements, garbage bags, try to clear up some of the stuff that's still remaining there. While I'm there, most likely I'm also going to speak with my sibling. Um, and one of my siblings is there, right? So he can be actually the witnessy or whatever. Because this these forms here actually require or a different set of forms. There's that, but then there's also a different set of forms that are related to housing that I need to help that I need help with because someone else has to sign and verify that my income sources are exactly as they are. So there's that as well. Here's some and those forms are inside here. So we have these forms here for the annual review. And we have these forms here inside this black garbage bag, which are for the kind of 30 day, it's kind of a urgent review uh, of your assets and income. So any changes, so this is for changes, any recent changes. So I, a job and stuff like that. And then my government benefits may or may not come in. So I have to update that as well. Inside is also some paperwork for um, the jewelry, I guess you could say, for my significant other, which is some someone, something that I've had since a very, very young age. It's very abnormal, um, you could say. Um, but that was just a manifestation of my coping mechanisms and and strategies to manage the emptiness and the void within so personified when you have no family you become your own family i think that's going to give a little hint as to what happened um it's just a tiny little sliver of what that represents so i have to actually return and exchange not return but exchange some jewelry so it's important that I, okay and then not only that i'm actually wearing a suit right now it's winter right now. It's pretty, pretty cold. For the record, there's actually something else on the tabs there that I showed earlier. Um, one of them is actually a YouTube video from someone way out there in Siberia. So that's north of, of Russia, right? And they all dress, you know, very much like probably the way I look right now. <laughs> Although a lot of people in the public kind of freak out because they see this and they're not used to it. Because clearly where I am is not in Siberia. In Siberia, apparently, though, the standard temperatures are below minus 40 to minus 60 degrees Celsius. And that's, I guess, the kind of thing that I'm... I'm not a big fan of people who are very, you know, sensitive. Because I've had to deal with that my entire life. And so as a result, I guess you could say I have, like, uh, a kind of keen obsession. I really like people who are strong. Like, I, I really like the German culture and how blunt it is. Um, a lot of the Eastern European cultures, and I really much, obviously, therefore, share that same kind of sentiment. Like, I really like what I saw in that that Siberian, you know, they were, they were huge. Like, <laughs> it's just like a winter wonderland. And uh, it's very tough to live there, of course. You know, you have to go out there, you have to wear, you have to, like, put bare fat on your face and stuff like that. It's not the most pretty to do it's but it's all about basic needs and that's the kind of shit that i kind of go fucking ocd over because like i can't describe to you what it's like to grow up like a child soldier having your own blood have his hands around your neck um to have her drag you out the house and uh lock you say you know just get the fuck i'll never come back again uh what that does to you so um i i just wanted to mention that because uh, that's something I really enjoyed. Um, like that that video about Siberia and and how it kind of brings people together. Because I think in places like that where you experience how harsh nature can truly be, you put aside all your petty little differences. There's no time for self entitlement or oversensitivity. Um, and I, I like to be surrounded by people like that. People who are focused on like, 
basic needs like food, housing, shelter, and you know how to enjoy the simple things in life and not freak out over tiny little things. Um, feels like home, but I've never been there before. I might want to see there one day. If I get a chance, I might travel to Siberia before I die. So, anyways, one last thing. So I pulled the suit. It was related because, like, uh, I guess that whole topic came up about Siberia because um, I kind of look like a dress in Siberia and people kind of freak out when they see me. Like, I've been called all sorts of crazy things. So that's one of the many things that have happened during the crisis period that made the crisis worse. Um, like... Uh, I'll, we'll make a video topic about this one day. Like, <laughs> I'm sure it will be a very interesting one. So the last thing I pull over my suit here is something else I have to do tonight. If I can get a chance, I want to go buy my storage unit and replenish whatever it is in here. Which is, uh, I'm completely run out of uh, Biomega, uh, which is an Omega-3 supplement. So vitamins and minerals uh, that are very core to your internal metabolism. Um, again. Uh, I'm a commissioned sales agent for a biocellular nutritional company. Long story short, it's just, it sells like um, advanced uh, nutritional supplements. That's what it is. And uh, it makes a lot of sense because I, I graduated in a biomedical field. And I'm very keen on research and stuff like that. So it's a lot of fun for me to, to be able to read the ingredients and understand what they do for my body. And how to keep me kind of healthy even though i've been eating a lot of like just bare basic junk uh because i didn't have a place to live and so i have to go back to storage and replenish that yeah 21 minutes man fuck so this video was obviously longer than while on this podcast and um it would, again this is just like a tiny like 0. 0.012 fraction of all things that I've got to do, but you know, I want to cover a little glimpse, uh, glimpse of us. I want to talk about that as well. A new song from Joji, which is great for helping me to deal with a lot of stuff on the outside. I would play that song, Glimpse of Us. And uh, oh, there's so much, so much. This is exciting shit. This is good fun. So definitely, um, oh, the Siberian video, the 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 new song the new the new track glimpses of glimpses of us from Joji, um, and then we have all you know the forms, the the ring you know, <laughs> Lord of the Rings, so it's exciting it's a lot of stuff and I can feel it right now I'm, I'm this is the stuff that will keep me moving day by day. So, uh, if you tuned in, thanks for dropping by. I don't have like a formal outro or intro anymore. Maybe I will, maybe I should. I don't know if I will, but um, thanks for dropping by and I'll see you guys in the next one, okay? So let's get to work. Um, if you guys have, again, grandkids, uh, very relatable. I'm like a grandfatherly figure at this point, even though I'm only like, yeah, what's in here doesn't match up with what's out here. Uh, <laughs> so you have like grandkids, you have a business, you have a corporation, you have like a, a uh, successful career you got a spouse wife and kids you need to take care of keep doing your thing all the best to you and i'm going to continue doing my thing so stay healthy stay productive have fun know when to laugh when to have a good chuckle also know when to be on the grind and uh and disciplined and you know let's go okay see you in the next one peace out